Hiya. Just made another can. Not very good in zooming in, as you can see. I'm in good company. What is that robot doing? I'm ready. So we are off to Wolfsburg tomorrow. Um, obviously, we played them last Wednesday, 1-1 in the Emirates. Uh, really tough game, first half. We weren't that good, second half we were the better team, I think. So really exciting to see how it's going to be. And um, yeah, I hope we can get through to the next round. <laughs> Deutschland, Deutschland, here we go. Hiya. Let's go. We've just had food, we've taped our ankles. I've taped your wrists, so I hope you don't break it. Look at that. Wow. Amazing. And we're off to training. Training in the stadium tonight, 60 minutes, and that's it. So what do you can for Tomorrow, tomorrow. <laughs> Let's go. Yay. Everyone I've been filming with has left me. So Jill, Lisa, Patsy, so you better stay. Me and Viv are still going strong. Back of the bus. Let's go. Hey everyone. Today um, is Wednesday, which means second leg of the quarterfinals of the Champions League. Unfortunately, I got tested positive for COVID last weekend, so I won't be able to play tonight. And of course I'm in isolation and I have been in isolation for the last five days. Um, yeah, tough times at the moment, but I think the most important thing in life is health and some things are bigger than football. Even though it hurts, it hurts a lot that I won't be able to play and help my team tonight and yeah, just be part of another great Champions League evening. But it is what it is and um, sometimes you just have to accept the situation and our team is actually a little unlucky because we have seven players who are affected by COVID and who are not able to play. But yeah, sometimes situations like that even bring you closer together. And I still believe in our team tonight and all fingers crossed, they will do amazing. We still have a great group of girls out there who will fight and do everything they can um, to make it to the semifinals. So, that's my current situation. I'm stuck in my apartment by myself and I'm just trying to make the most out of it. And like I said, it's part of our life at the moment. And yeah, health is the most important thing. So I need to try and get healthy again so I can step out onto the pitch again. That's what I love to do most. Oh, and cause I haven't mentioned it, um, how I'm feeling with the whole COVID thing. I'm actually feeling, oh my God. My hair is a mess. Thanks goodness, I'm in isolation, so no one cares. Um, yeah, I've had a sore throat and a headache in the beginning, and then I developed a strong cold, and just my nose is clogged, and yeah, a little bit of cough, but I felt okay the whole time, and I'm feeling better and better day by day, and no worries, I'm good, and I'll be back soon. What are we thinking? Looks good. And it's it's green for Ireland. Very green. <laughs> True. I'll take that. Okay, Beth. Not very good in zooming in as you can see, sorry. Hi Emma. I'm just filming you, Simo, not filming anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am filming. Woo! Made the vlog. You have made it.
just finished raining. It's quite fun today. And since I'm quite old, I'm gonna have to see Emma right now. Mm -hmm. Hey! hey. I really like this green. It's nice. Oh, big fox. Oh no, wolf. Same thing. So how do I spend my time um, here in my apartment? Drink a lot of tea. Just made another can. Today I cleaned the apartment, university stuff. I cook a lot, things I not always have time to do. Just trying to get healthier and healthier every day. Like I said, I'm not the only person who is in that situation. And yeah, I try to make the best out of it. And at least I'm in good company. So I'm not totally by myself, right? <laughs> also, just to show you how amazing my team is, um, they brought me some stuff the other day. Obviously they weren't allowed to come into my apartment, but they put it in front of my door. They wrote me a card, super cute. Um, I got some chocolate and it says, wir drücken dich, which means hugs for you from us. And they brought me my Champions League jersey. So I'm ready for tonight, even though I can't be there. First game's over, I'm ready for the second game of the evening. Um, yeah, I'm actually a little nervous. If I play, I'm nervous, but now that I'm just watching, I'm nervous as well, but I know that the girls will do amazing and I can't wait to watch them. Um, a few thoughts on the first game, 5-2 for Barcelona. Um, it was a crazy game, crazy goals, even goals where I don't think they meant to score, but the crosses just went in. So crazy game, but just the atmosphere and yeah, just, it's just so amazing how women's football is growing and I love to see that and it was a good game. It was good advertising for women's football. And now I'm ready for the second game. Um, everyone who is here at home, we will actually have a FaceTime session so we can watch the game together and are still connected on our phone. And so not everyone is just by herself in her apartment. So yeah, I'll talk to you after the game, hopefully with some good news, but no matter what, I love the girls, I'm always with them and they will do great, I know it. Whew. Um, it's right after the game and I have mixed emotions because yeah, 2-2 two, two after extra time and I have mixed emotions because obviously I'm sad that we didn't make it um, to the semis, but I'm so proud of the girls. It's insane. I'm so freaking proud. Um, we played with two subs. We used one substitution in extra time. The others fought through, they gave it their all, they left their heart out on the pitch. I've never seen anything like it. And I'm just super grateful that I'm part of a team like this because we showed again today how amazing we are as a team. And yeah, I think we dominated, we dominated the 120 minutes. Uh, I think the statistic shows how good we were. and. Ah, that's just football. In the end, it's a 2-2. It wasn't enough. Um, I'm super sad, but mostly proud. And now I can breathe again because it was the worst thing ever for me to watch the game on the TV and not being able to help the girls. And Yeah, girls, if you watch this after this performance, I love you all. You were amazing. You deserve to go through to the semis, but we'll be back next year and we will kill it. Love you all. So it's match day today. We're out for the walk. It's pretty cold, by the way. Very cold. Um, we've been having 20 degrees, but it's probably like three or four here right now. I reckon so. And it's windy. We're just outside in the Volkswagen park. We've got little robots everywhere. And eggs. That's Volkswagen right there. No idea how it's right now. So, yeah, just getting ready for the game tonight. Oh, look at the cars. You can't even see it, the cars inside. <laughs> They're no good in there. We think this is the Volkswagen. What is it called? Zebra. It's like, it's like um, Disneyland for Volkswagen. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but we're not entirely sure. Minus the rides. Everyone is so old and loud. 
I'm not, am I gonna be able to see you? No. This is just me doing my stupid. I have no idea. I'm so confused. What is that robot doing? Don't reverse. Good. Face off. Face like off. They're not friends, you know? Nope. Yeah. Hard fought battle, but yeah, they were good. They were. We know the level, we know the benchmark now, it's what we need to push for. Yeah. We'll be back next season. Friday morning. Um, absolutely gutted, obviously, still that we didn't get through last night. I think Wolfsburg were the better team, and I think on the end they deserve to go through. So, um, yeah, they've done really well, and we just weren't good enough. All there's left to do for us right now is just to win the next five games of the season. Um, hopefully win the WSL and qualify for Champions League again. And hopefully we can, can do better next year. So yeah, on to Leicester on Sunday and hope we can get a good win after a short turnaround.